Coming up on this edition of Sports Center, we'll look at the mechanics of suiting up, scoring, safety tips, and the plays of the month for the newest and hottest emerging sport, XP Laser Sport. EXPN's Extreme Center starts now. Welcome to Extreme Center. I'm Alexander So. And I'm Vince Venus. Our big story for today is the emergence of XP Laser Sport. XP Laser Sport is the newest extreme sport. That's right, Vince. XP Laser Sport has taken laser tag to the next level. For those of you not familiar with this sport, we're going to take you through the basics. The equipment is comprised of a helmet, chest module, battery pack, and phaser. There are two teams, red and green. When you enter the staging area, you'll be handed a battery belt. It's the first thing you put on. Grasp the buckle in your left hand, swing it around your waist, snap it shut, and pull the tighten. Next, put on your player unit. Put your head through the neck strap and place your helmet on your head. Connect your chin strap and tighten, then your waist strap. Snug up the straps and remove the phaser. A referee will plug in the power cord. Each player needs to be energized by the entry terminal. Your lights won't go on until just before the game begins. But once you're entered, go ahead and practice shooting so you can get used to your equipment and the sounds. Don't worry, it doesn't count until the game begins. A referee will bring you to your home base inside the XP Arena. Wait here until the game countdown signals you to begin. begin. The object of XP Laser Sport is to score more points than your opponents. You do that by tagging an opponent or tagging the opposing team's base. You may tag a player on their helmet or chest pod. Here's a tip. On the back of the phaser, there is a targeting light, which lights up when you are on target, but it does not guarantee a score. If you miss, you'll hear this sound. When you tag a player, you'll hear this sound and score 50 points. The player you tagged will lose 50 points and hear this sound. They will be disrupted for five seconds, their lights will turn solid yellow, and they will be unable to fire. However, the opposing team may continue to score points by tagging them, so keep moving. After you tag somebody three times in a row, you have to clear your phaser by tagging another opponent or either base once before you can disrupt them again. If you tag your own team, you'll hear this sound. You'll be disrupted for five seconds and lose 100 points. The arena is two levels of tunnels, bunkers, ramps, and corridors. The base goals are located symmetrically on opposite ends of the arena. It is a tall tower structure with a glowing orb at the top. To score points off the opponent's base goal, you need to hit the orb three times in a row without getting hit. If you're successful, you're awarded 1,000 points. You may only do this once per game. You don't have to be directly in front of the base to score a hit on it. Even though XP Laser Sport is an extreme sport, it is not a contact sport. There is no physical contact allowed. To further emphasize this, you need to stay five feet away from your opponents at all times. If you need to get by someone, point your phaser away from your opponent and call pass. Once you're more than five feet away, feel free to blast them. You're also not allowed to blind shoot. Don't stick your phaser blindly around corners. You must see what you're trying to tag. This guy understands why. I'd like to add that XP Laser Sport is played by people of all ages, so profanity is not tolerated. The wall's designed for your protection. Climbing over them is not allowed. Most other forms of laser tag do not allow running. XP Laser Sport does. However, you must play in a safe and controlled manner when you do. Otherwise, you may end up like this guy. Lastly, you cannot sit down or lay down on the playing field. This could be bad. After your game ends, exit the playing field and leave your equipment back in the staging area. Then go look at your score. You can go into another game or up to the observation deck and watch others play. Hey, your game's about to begin and we're out of time. A referee is going to bring you into the staging area and help you suit up. For Vince Venus and the entire EXPN crew, I'm Alexander So. We'll see you next time on the Extreme Center.